He's hit two in excess of 52. This one from 49. Foster, it's blocked. Picked up on the run. It's Alex Ogletree all the way for the Georgia touchdown. Travis Coons for the win. And it's blocked. And it's picked up by Will Hill. Will Hill runs down the sideline. Hill's going to get a block. Will Hill is going to win the game on a blocked field goal. Unbelievable. <laughs> Will Hill thrilled me. What a play at the buzzer. It's a kick six. And the Ravens find a way to win. For Austin Seibert. It's short, and here's Brandon Wilson returning it. Wilson past the 30, past the 40. Wilson might take it all the way. He hurdles his own man and takes it home. Touchdown, Houston. Longwell is going to come onto the field. Well, give Minnesota credit. Brad Childress was, he was aggressive, which he's been all year. This is going to shape up to be about a 53 yarder. No, 58 yarder, excuse me. From 58 yards away. Longwell got it away. comes up just short and they're going to return it this Here is from Marty <laughs> and from Marty down the right sideline with a head of steam to the 30 20 10 5 touchdown that would be 109 yards on the return remain unbeaten and perhaps a player in the college football playoff and the 29th consecutive conference win. Blocked, snuffed, rubbed out, erased. And Georgia Tech with an opportunity. Austin still on his feet. One man, you can't believe what just happened. Everything, last play of the half. Niners, Nedney, field goal. And that's no good. Nathan Vasher, eight yard. Oh, I'll run it out. What the heck? And whoop, gets past five Niners right there. He started eight yards deep in his head zone. It's the ultimate. Could go all the way. An NFL record, 108 yards. The longest return in NFL history. They've been playing since 1920. What a play. Yeah, great blocking by the Bears, and that's Brian Erlacher running, running, running to throw that very last block for him. Mandel will hold it. Now they've officially made it 57 yards. Remember, a blocked kick to go the other way, too. He's got to be careful and get it up. On the way. No, returned by Chris Davis. Davis goes left. Davis gets a block. Davis has another block. Chris Davis. No flags. Touchdown, Auburn. An answered prayer. Often. These are the two most unbelievable finishes. A forced deep field goal, and now Alabama does not have athletes on the field. They've got offensive linemen on the field. And once Chris Davis turns the corner, the only thing that was going to stop him was he fell down. It was a decent kick. Yes, it was. But a big gamble. I thought maybe a block this could happen. Who would have dreamed that this, because there's no athletes on the field for Alabama. They got all fat guys. Mandel places it down. Griffith, as Gary said, it's a decent kick. Now it will officially go into the books as a 100-yard return with a missed field goal because the NCAA does not measure from deep in the end zone. 
for a first down, I would have gone for about seven or eight yards and been in a lot better field goal position than they are now. In fact, it's going to be a 52-yard attempt into the notorious swirling winds of Giants Stadium. If he misses it, the Bears will get the ball at their own 42. Beagles to put it down. Feely's kick. Pressure kick. Not even close. And now Hester, after hesitating, he's going to run it out. And Hester is going to run it out past the 40 in the Giants territory. He is going to go all the way. Touchdown, Chicago. And no flags. But now there is a flag all the way across the field at the 50-yard line. So the Bears had run out onto the field. The penalty marker came out late. The penalty is about 30 yards away from where any of the action was. Here it comes. He's got a long leg. No. Beckham is going to try and return this. Odell Beckham. He got the corner. He's got blockers. One man to beat. Touchdown, Odell Beckham. That is impressive. Where Roon will kneel down. Now he's going to move forward a yard for the 47. So it's a 57-yard attempt by Jason Elam. And the kick is short, taken in the end zone by McAllister. And McAllister's going to come out with it, figuring he has nothing to lose. McAllister coming down the sideline, and McAllister is going to go all the way. Can you believe this? Mike Shanahan, yeah, that is unbelievable. That's off the charts. Ray Lewis threw a block as well. That's a 108 yards. I saw Chris McAllister back there. They had 10 men up in the block, and Chris McAllister started. Then he went all the way back, and he lined up in the end zone. And you can return a try. So he looked like he, he either was going to stop and not do it, or he was just faking that one. But he sure threw. It's the field goal team out here, because this is a career-long attempt for Tyler Durbin, who's super reliable inside of 40. This is from 45, and it's blocked. Lions scoop it up. Brad Haley will score. Rookie kicker. Line. Parks takes it all the way back. And Denver takes the lead at 25-23. Unbelievable. Simmons, you said it, timed it perfectly and jumped over the center to make the block. The Saints on the sideline are certain. They're pointing down. They think Parks stepped out. Somewhere near the 40. Watch Simmons leap. A special teams touchdown. And Griffith, that's blocked. You can return this. He's got help. He's got more help. He's got a convoy. No flag on that play. How about that? David Reese, the linebacker, heads into the tunnel. It was blocked by Jabari Zuniga. For the dream.